This is a defining moment in AI. CUDA, which is NVIDIA's secret sauce, has just undergone a tectonic shift after 2006. For 20 years, CUDA has been the way to unlock GPU power, and now CUDA 13.1 just dropped the biggest fundamental change since CUDA was invented in 2006. We are talking about a completely new way to program GPUs. And this is not just a feature update, this is a paradigm shift. And I'm going to show you how you can install this new CUDA Toolkit 13.1 on your local system. And I'm also going to explain in very simple words what exactly has changed and why I am so excited about this new release. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Also, please follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any hype or fluff. Now, let's get back to the CUDA Toolkit 13.1. Let me quickly introduce you to the CUDA and then we will get it installed and then I will talk about something very very cool which is this nvidia cuda tile so let's go step by step in an easy way so what exactly is this cuda cuda is how you program nvidia's gpus your gpu has thousands and thousands of tiny processors for 20 odd years cuda made you write code that controlled every single thread every single processor individually we had to manually calculate which data each thread processes, manage all the memory and figure out how to use a special hardware like Tensor Core. It is quite powerful but quite complicated and for us mere mortals, especially the ones like us or me especially who don't have PhD, uh, who haven't really worked in machine learning and programmed GPUs in their basement. For us, I think it is a godsend that they have now come up with this CUDA 13.1 and especially this NVIDIA CUDA tile because that gives um, us simpletons to actually now start playing around with GPUs, especially around GPU kernels and all that nitty gritty, which really seemed somewhat rocket size earlier. Now, CUDA 13.1 introduces CUDA tile, which I'm going to explain shortly, but I think now you know what CUDA is. This is a way to unlock GPU power. Let's get it installed on our local system. I'm going to use this Ubuntu. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM courtesy masked compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price like I am doing, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs, so please do check them out. Installation is quite simple by the way. Just select your operating system. For Windows, of course, click on Windows. For Linux, click here. And then your architecture. I'm not going to use this ARM architecture. I'm just going to go with x86. I'm using Ubuntu as you just saw and my version is 22.04. I always go with the local installation as it makes it quite simple and easy to start with. So let's go to my terminal and first up let me set my path. It's a brand new VM so I'm just going to um, set this path because it installs a lot of things here and my apologies I'm doing it in real time. So you have to bear with me for my typos. Okay. So let's go back here. Let's first download the stuff and move it accordingly. And these are all the statements which I'm going to run in order to get it installed. So let me paste all of these here. And while it runs, okay, ah, so I need to install wget too. So let me quickly install wget. Or hang on, I think I just pasted it wrong because you see it is just combined here. So let me do it again so i have added some line breaks here and this should now work and this is going to download and then install it while it, that happens 
let me quickly explain what each of these lines um, you know mean so first line we are downloading the CUDA repository pin file that tells our Ubuntu APT package manager to prioritize CUDA packages secondly we are moving that pin file to the APT preference directory so that this APT knows how to use it and then once that's done we are simply again using wget um, you know to download the uh, sorry we are just downloading the CUDA repository and then you know that installer package is done which includes the toolkit and also the driver as you can see and from there we are simply installing the CUDA repo configuration on our system and then we are copying the CUDA's GP G key so that APT can verify package authenticity and then we are now refreshing the package list to include the new, new CUDA repository and last but not least we are installing the CUDA toolkit 13.1 and all of its dependencies on our local system and this is still being run so while that happens let's talk now about the thing which i'm really dying to talk about which is this new cuda tile so cuda 13.1 introduces cuda tile so instead of controlling individual threads you work with tiles which is simply chunks of data you say add these two chunks and the compiler splits that across all the processors automatically so advantage is that we only focus on our algorithm the compiler handles the hardware detail which is much much simpler now look at this diagram on the first let's look at the right hand side one this thread level model so this is a traditional CUDA you see that the detailed mesh pattern here on in the diagram that is you writing code that says thread 0 processes element 0 thread 1 processes element 1 and so on and so on and so on so you are mapping your data onto both the big blocks and all the tiny individual threads inside each block and you can see at the bottom it says right thread in the image 2 from nvidia that application maps data onto both blocks and threads so you control everything which means you have to think about everything powerful but a lot of complication than time now look and uh, look at the left hand side which is block level models this is the CUDA tile see how it's just clean colored blocks all of these no mesh no fine detail you only partition your data into blocks those tiles and you can just see that it also says that compiler maps blocks onto thread the compiler does the detailed work you just say here are the chunks of data do this operation and you are done task parallel programming instead of fine-grained parallel programming so how good is that i hope that i was able to do justice with it now look at this this is how simplified it becomes so you can see that this is the simt path which is a traditional way at the very top we have this cuda c plus uh, plus python it goes down through this nvvm and L lvm that is a compiler by the way and then it becomes ptx and you can think of ptx as assembly language for nvidia gpu very low level and then it actually runs on gpu hardware this is at the very bottom this path has been here for 20 years and still it's not going anywhere by the way it is still there they're not just uh, either or situation you can use both maybe sometime in the future which i don't know anyway but if you look here we have this new tile path at the top we have this q tile that is a tile programming interface and it then it goes down and becomes tile intermediate representation tile ir is like ptx but for tile operations instead of thread operations and then it also runs on the gpu how good is that both ptx and tile ir go into the same gpu they work together and you can use traditional cuda for some parts of your code and cuda tile for other parts same program same gpu both approaches now let me quickly show you um, a hello world program as how exactly it looks like now i think and i might be wrong i think it only works with blackwell gpus and you can just see that my gpu was hopper 
H100, so it won't work here, but at least I can give you the flavor of how the code looks like. Okay, so this is the code with both approaches. So this is a 20 year old traditional one. Now look at this code. Both of these codes, they are adding two arrays together. Now look at this one. If you check it out here, this is where we are doing math to figure out which element this specific thread should process. Every CUDA programmer knows this formula. So we are primarily saying here that thread five in, just suppose in block two, we are handling the element number 37 or whatever it calculates to. Now, if this statement, we also have to check that if we are going out of bounds and if we forget that, our program would crash. That is the compiler and that is in C++. Uh, I believe CUDA tile is at the moment only available in uh, Python and C++ is on the way. But if you look at this Python uh, code, this tells you, for example, if I just showed you, showed you this. So I'm just getting block ID, no math formula. And then we have this ct.load. We are loading a chunk of data, not one element, a whole tile maybe 16 element or 64 or whatever the tile size is. And then we have the result here. We are adding the two chunks together and we are not really thinking of any indi individual elements or threads. And then we are finally storing it. Uh, we are just putting the chunk back in. Now, if you really just sit back and see what is missing, there is no thread index math, as you can see here. And then, uh, we are not checking any bounds at all. We are not thinking about individual elements. We are working with chunks of data and the compiler figures out how to split that across thousands of thread. So that is the advantage. And if you are writing, you know, huge uh, compilers and other software in CUDA, you can imagine how beneficial and easy it would be. I have full intention of doing a lot of videos on this, by the way to make it uh, as simplified as possible, this CUDA thingy machingy. And I'm also going to show you why exactly, um, you know, regular coder or programmer has to learn this, but that is for another video. Uh, by the way, I have done few in the past, you can search the channel, but I intend to do it on this new CUDA. So let's see, let's go back and see what is happening. Our 13.1, um, so that is all good and installed. Let's verify it. And there you go, our CUDA 13.1 is installed. So look, I believe this is very crucial. CUDA tile is a future of GPU programming, simpler code, same performance, and it works on GPUs that haven't been even released yet. So again, please follow me on X, I would highly appreciate. And please become a member, like and subscribe as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.